Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. One of the most common questions about filament that I see on forums and elsewhere is how to use filament not for the full crud. So typical filament is resource and form and table. But what if you want to use just the form to just edit the record? And we have written a tutorial about that on Laravel Daily and in this video I will kind of summarize it for you. I will link the original tutorial in the description below as well. But let's quickly run through that so you would see the main idea. First, the question. You can pause the video and read it in full, but basically you want the user to edit only one record of his, for example, company or about page for example or something and you want to do that inside of the filament panel with filament design and all of that but without the full resource and actually the first idea may come to your mind to actually use the resource but then somehow strip all the create and delete and other actions and leave only edit that could be possible in some cases but a more flexible approach is to actually build a separate form outside of the resource and what you need to understand and in the filament documentation in the form builder it's on very top so overview you can use it to add a form to any live wire component so form builder of filament is not necessarily used for filament resources similarly how table builder you can build tables outside of filament in your live wire component and there's a whole separate page of adding a form to a live wire component and basically we've done a similar thing in our tutorial so let's quickly run through that so imagine a user has a company has one relationship and they need to edit the name of their company so we prepare a custom page for that, which is actually a live wire component. Then we enable forms inside of that. So implements has forms, interacts with forms. Then in our page, we need to define the data. So empty array, fill the form automatically. And here we use the form schema that you want with state of data, which is for now empty. Then in the blade, we need to use blade components of filament. This is for the design and this is for the form itself. And inside we just render this form. Similarly, how we have form objects in Livewire 3, you just render the form in the blade. And this is the result. Again, empty for now. Then fill in the form. In our case, the data is and has one relationship, but in your case, it may be elsewhere. You just need to use this form fill with the array of data. In our case, the array comes from the relationship. Then for submit button, you need to define get form actions method. And in here, that may sound strange, but I want to reuse the same labels with translations from filament itself. That's why we have this long line. You could have your own label like save or submit or something, but this would actually render save changes by default. And then after the form, you render the form actions. And this is the result, save changes then the whole form should be wire submitted and this is where you need to use the understanding that filament pages are live wire components and wire submit is live wire syntax and then you need to perform that save so save is the method name here and you get the data from this form get state and then do whatever you want with that data you may use try catch this is an example from the docs but feel free to have other structure for that code and finally send a success notification with the text that you want again you can take it from the vendor of filament to not reinvent the wheel or use any text you want and then it renders this part and that's it that's all the tutorial so again i will repeat and summarize there are two main ideas here first that you can use filament forms outside of filament resources and also you need to be quite familiar with Livewire to use Livewire syntax and Livewire logic in filament projects. What do you think about this approach? Maybe you would do it differently. Let's discuss in the comments and see you guys in other videos.